Hi guys, my name is Tara. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. Um, if you're new here, please go ahead and like, subscribe. It really helps me out, costs you nothing. Today I review the Morphe Coca-Cola palette. I got this and then their lippy set. So go ahead and continue watching if you wanna see how I got this look and my thoughts on the palette. Anyhow, like you've seen in the intro and the title, I am reviewing the Morphe Coca-Cola collection. When I seen this, I was like, I am such a Coke fan. So I've got to get it and I did not get the whole collection. So I just got the palette here. Let's look at the colors. These are the colors. You can see them better from back here. Um, and I think it's a pretty cute palette, to be honest. I love that there's some blues in there. I don't know, I'm gonna swatch a couple. So that's the palette, and then I got the little lippy set. The palette is $22, the lippy set is 19, and obviously there's tons of codes out there that you can get 10% off. I got 20% off, and I don't know why. I think because maybe it was the first time I gave them my email. I she doesn't even seem right. So it does have a sheet with like the names on it, but I just, I hate, I hate that. To me, it's like, why even bother? Like if you, if you don't want to take the time to like name it on your palette, like why even name it, right? I think that was their way to put names on it because people want names on it. But to me, it's a joke. Oh, I didn't even notice this. You probably can't pick it up, but this red here has a little bit of glitter like sparkle in it but I don't think or maybe it's from the shade next to it I don't know but I want to swatch a couple for you so this color here which is this um the shimmer shade here let's do I want to do both these red tone colors so let's do right here so here is that shimmer color that is so pretty. Here is the first red. Whoa, that just kind of went on there, didn't it? And here's the second red. Holy smokes, like that is not bad at all. I'll be damned. It is so warm. Ugh. So I'm gonna jump into this like mustard color right here for a transition. It's blending nicely, which I think that's the thing with like Morphe palettes is they're um, inconsistent. Some do really well, some don't. Um, I don't know if they're just like constantly switching up that formula. But I feel like even within like the same palettes, like I've seen people review and or friends talk about the same palette I have and then they didn't like it and or vice versa and I loved it and it worked beautifully. I kind of want to just smoke it all the way to the top. It is a nice like camel, khaki, whatever, mustardy brown. So I seen Samantha Rabindal do a look where she was doing a look off of Gigi Hadid using the Pat McGrath, where it was like, I forget which one, I don't, I have no idea which one it was, but it was like she did gold with a green on top and it looked really pretty. So I wonder, cause this, I mean, just Barely a little bit of green here in this shimmer, but I wonder, let's see. Oh yeah, so look, that's what those two made. So I think I'm gonna recreate that. There's probably a special place in hell for people that try to do Pat McGrath with uh, Morphe. Can't remember, I think the color was brought into on the lid. Let's just go for it. <laughs> where this looks patchy is because I'm so sweaty. Dang it. So I'm just gonna take some of that and run it under my lower lash. Really kind of like smoke that out. 
I'm just gonna take this color right here and put it towards the inner corner because I don't want it too dark there under those shimmers, but just to kind of blend into that color we put on our lid. It is, that's a nice color. I didn't really think that I'd even care too much at all about that color. It's just a nice like cream toned color. I don't know why I'm feeling some type of way about it, but I am. Might as well take that same color and smoke the under eye out just a hair bit more. I just want to swatch this blue. These are like really light, like almost like shadow toppers. This and the one that I'm gonna use. They feel really good. Um, let's do a, they do like those pressed glitters. I have a love-hate relationship with these. They go on and they look really nice at first, but they kind of end up like crusty after a little bit. But they're pretty. But it's like whatever base they base or whatever they use to kind of keep those glitters in there. I feel like it like dries out and the glitters just kind of start falling on your face. We're going to take the gold first. pretty gold okay so now we're going in with that other color right on top oh that's so pretty this definitely should have been like a eye first base last but honestly I don't much care like, if I get glitter under my eyes, it's not the end of the world to me. Because it's like, if you're going out and under the lights and your little face is like twink, twinkling, tink, twinkling. Yeah, twinkling. Like it's not that bad. Going back in with that like original uh, khaki color, I'm going to put some more of that under my lower lash. I'm gonna pop on some lashes real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the lashes on. These are, um, I don't have them in front of me. These ones I already wore, but I got them off of AliExpress for $2 for like a five pack, just super like fluffy. $2, like can't beat it. Now that I have my lashes on, I think I just wanna put a little bit more of the original crease color kinda on the outside, just to kinda bring that back to life. Cause I did go full ham with these shadows. Just tuck a little in. And then because I am so sweaty, I think I'm gonna dip into that other shade we used and just buff that along to kind of like take away the shine. If only for even just a minute, cause dang. Maybe pull, maybe mix the two and kind of pull that in a little bit right here. And of course, because I'm sweaty, look how dark that showed up. Oh no. Well, it is what it is now. Just gotta match it up on the other side, right? I 
just taking a littler brush I'm gonna put some of the gold no maybe let's just try going in with the other like more green shade on the inner corner really liking this palette so sweaty okay so let's get into these lippies so this one right here is tastemaker classic babe overflow and share and I'm gonna swatch them for you so those are the those are the colors right there kind of bummed they're all glosses and I thought I guess I kind of thought that classic babe was a, a matte like maybe red and then share but they're just like a solid gloss not the end of the world but I'm not gonna wear like a red gloss let's try I will try I'll try it on so I'm just gonna take a red liner this is from Mud Makeup. It's called Red. Nothing like trying to put on a red liner to remind you how shitty you are at putting liner on. So, I mean, it's cute over top a red liner and probably cute on its own but I don't like them because when they are splotchy it just looks like you have like extra pigment here less over here and I just I don't know I don't care for a very colored gloss if you like colorful glosses it's not too sticky doesn't really have a smell not a whole lot anyhow um, you know it's a gloss so I'm gonna take this off and I think I'll do one more I'll just do the share because for you know a more solid gloss it just seems more reasonable to wear for me okay so I'm just gonna line my lips with this nude lip liner from NYX and you don't have to line your lips you could just slap it on because it's gloss but whatever <laughs> And this is the color share I mean it's cute I would be more compelled to use this than the red just because again I feel like I would just make a mess of that red um, and then the other ones are just shimmery glosses they're cute I don't think I need to try them all on so my final thoughts I love the look that I was able to get it blended good but I think by swatching I know swatching is I know by swatching it doesn't always tell everything but I think that you can really do some fun looks some more basic looks like I think this is a well-rounded palette um, as far as Morphe goes I think I said that I wasn't gonna buy them anymore and I think the final straw for me was they had a palette with Jaclyn Hill that was vegan put it back out after like one of the sellouts and it they changed the formula not really stating that it wasn't vegan anymore and I don't like that because I know vegans take that lifestyle pretty serious and I just I'm not vegan but I think that's kind of fucked up so I'm not gonna say whether this palette is vegan any of that because I have no idea and I don't know that you can fully trust them on that so I don't know it's kind of up to you if you like Morphe I know they're one of the more like I don't know maybe problematic brands I don't even I don't know I don't fucking know I liked it I love this look thank you Sam I totally copied you um, I wish I wasn't so sweaty because definitely made like some areas like look patchy, but I'm just sweaty. I promise. Anyhow, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, leave comments down below. Thank you for being here. Bye.